hi community how are you doing so let's get a reading on this thank you for joining me on this beautiful beautiful sunday it is a gorgeous day i'm trying a new angle uh we'll see if we like it uh, as, as usual just let me know um, also check the comment section out if you are subscribed um, you'll see the community section I meant um, check the community section out and uh, let me know what you think okay I do have questions there I post pictures behind the scene pictures you know pictures of the animals always you know the divine animals so yeah okay all right let's go all right, an end. Something's coming to an end, okay? What I'm getting a lot with these readings lately is things are ending. Cycles are ending. So what's letting me, sorry. <laughs> so what's letting me know is because I keep getting coffin, right? So that's an end, an end to a cycle, which means a beginning is starting soon, right? So I feel like as humanity, we're ending a cycle. I really do feel like we're getting back to normal, okay? All right thief okay so there is a thief amongst you um this doesn't have to be someone stealing your money right because the cycle's ending it could be someone that was in the past um a thief of your time okay someone and i'm getting time really not money but someone who was a thief of your time someone who wasted your time someone who was not honest with you when someone's not honest with you it, it's a short jump to being a thief okay and if they're not honest with you they are stealing your time because that's time that you could be spending with someone who appreciates you and who is honest with you okay all right so let's continue um so yes yeah, so there's a thief amongst you you. Yeah, let me just get away. I'm, I'm being drawn to get one more kept on. This is there's a thief amongst you, uh, where you are, okay. But again, you end the cycle with this person already. You ended the cycle, okay. Uh, intuitively, I'm getting you can't go back. I'm not that don't go back, it says you can't go back, okay. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, unexpected income, good. I am so glad you ended it with the thief because guess what? You have unexpected income coming in. And if you were still with this person who you identify as a thief, guess what? You would have never got that income, that unexpected income. Divine would never have given it to you because divine does not reward um, people that don't work for what they need, a, um, a.k.a. thieves, okay? And if you're with the thief, you know how they say, like, birds of a feather flock together? Yeah, okay? Yeah, so right now, you're focused more on the here and now. You're not anymore looking back at this. It could be a relationship. I'm getting this as a friendship, okay? It's someone that you chose, right? It's not like a relationship. It's a friendship. It's a cycle, right? That's why the coffin's here. It's a cycle. It's a never-ending story with this person okay you would have always had a tie to this person i'm not getting that you have children i'm not getting that there's anything to tie with you and this person okay it's just this emotional bond like a trauma bond almost that you guys have and you really don't have the trauma bond this person he has created in your mind a trauma bond okay yeah the two of you are not good together it's like explosion okay you're the yang but it's not good this unexpected income is the is divine's blessing to you for moving on from this person okay it's very difficult to move on from people that we have trauma bonded with very difficult Right. And I think in 2023, you know, that's the one thing we want to just get rid of is the trauma bond. OK, something happened to you. You can't get over it. Um, you know what? I'm not to sound harsh, but you can go to a therapist. You don't need to trauma bond with anyone because that's a toxic pattern and you become dependent on people. And once you're dependent on people that are toxic and show that they are able to manipulate, they also become part of a trauma. So now you're creating a new trauma bond, a new trauma with a person you're trauma bonding with. OK, um, yeah. So this is meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in friendship. Yes, that's what you're being encouraged to do to move on. Right. Get uplifting friends. Leave this person alone. They were a thief of your time and possibly your money. OK, they took moments from you. They took happiness definitely from you. They took it from you. 
Okay, because they they weren't happy. So as long as you're not happy, they're not happy. Okay, I mean, as long as you're not happy, they're happy. And as long as you need them, they feel as though you're not going to go anywhere. Okay, yeah, they made you feel like you were not enough. See, you're frustrated in that relationship. Lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Absolutely. Okay, so you don't want that anymore. Right. I'm going to take that off of never. Well, no, that is the never ending story. I am, I am correct. Okay. All right. Let me get one more for Yang. All right. So yeah, the cards are, are confirming what we're saying here. It's all about getting rid of this energy from this person. Right. And, and, you know, say a prayer, meditate, do something. You got to get their energy off of you. Okay. Because divine has blessed you because you made that choice. That's a very hard decision you made. Two of you choose this, but you did it. You made it. You move forward. Okay. Yeah. You were stabbed in the back. That's why you left this person. Got it. You were stabbed in the back. They did something against you, right? They were not honest with you, but even with them not being honest with you, guess what? Divine masculine and feminine, they were honest. You just didn't, you had just started to see it. You refused to see it. Okay, so uh, I don't want to, you know, beat up too much on this person, this thief. I don't want to beat up too much on them because you know what? We all do see people for who they are. We just choose not to accept it. I hate to be that harsh person to say that, but it is so true. Okay. I've had those moments as well. So I am nowhere near perfect. Okay. So I know it hurts and it does feel like a never ending story. That's how you know you're in a trauma bond relationship. It's like every single day is something else. There's no, there's no give up. There's no positive. There's no like, I had a horrible day today, had a horrible day yesterday. And I mean, you know, had a horrible day yesterday, had a horrible day today. And at the end of my horrible day, let's go for ice cream and let me forget it. No, if you were in a trauma bond relationship, the negativity that you experienced yesterday, you are still talking about it with that person today. And you're still going over all the details. You're going over what this person said, what that person said. A person who is um, your trauma bond spouse, I call it, right? They will ask you the next day. So when this person said this, what did you say to them? Because in their mind, they're coming up with a strategy and a plan and they want to keep you down. They want to keep you in a trauma filled state. Okay. And that's not keeping you in the here and now. Remember that's ending. It's not that trauma is not keeping you in the here and now it's keeping you in that past that happened. And it's a constant story. It never ends with this person. They constantly do it. And they make you feel like you're not, like you've done something wrong each and every time, even though you have not done anything that's wrong. We don't do things that are wrong. We do what's best as humans. Okay. So that is a trauma bond. A trauma bond relationship can be your parent. It doesn't have to be your boyfriend. It's just any relationship that supports, uplifts, and encourages a bad day, encourages drama, encourages conflict. It could be the coworker when you go to work. And as soon as you come into the door at work, oh, let me tell you about this customer who was nasty. And let me tell you about this. And let me tell, that's a trauma bond person. They look for the drama. They look for the problems. They want to start problems. They are unhappy, so they have to make you unhappy, okay? Yeah. So six of cups in reverse, okay? You're trying to walk away from this because the coffin said that you ended it. But because six of cups in reverse, I would have been happier if this came out upright, okay? Because that means you're walking away, but you're looking back as with some regret, which is normal. This is now in the upside down, telling me that you are not sure if you are going to walk away. You don't know. And it's very difficult, guys, to leave a trauma bond relationship. Very difficult because they become your world. Okay, what flipped out? <laughs> Look at this. Eight of Cups. Universe is telling you to walk away. It might be difficult, but walk away. Away, walk away, 
Okay, it might be difficult, but you have to walk away. Universe is telling you to. Eight of Cups, okay? It's very difficult to leave a trauma bond person because usually they've emotionally isolated you, okay? Meaning they you don't talk to anyone else about your problems. You only talk to them, okay? So they only, they're the only ones that can understand you, okay? Um, yeah, justice is here for you, okay? You are enough. That's why, that's what that card is telling me. Justice is here for you and you are enough. You are a person that is able to be blessed. You are able to walk straight, head held high, be successful, okay? Right now, because you're with this person, your money is tied up, okay? Page of Pentacles in reverse. Your money is tied up right now, but you still are worthy, so walk away. Universe is guiding you to walk away. You're worthy, you're worthy of being you. You're worthy of being loved. And you're worthy of having good days. You know, if you're in a trauma bond relationship, you don't like bringing home good stories. Because all the person's going to do is go back or find the negative in the good story. Okay? So, once you walk away, and it's telling me you, you are going to walk away. Look at this. Queen of Cups came out. You're ready to find love. You are ready. You are worthy. Justice is here. The justice for you will be Queen of Cups. Okay? You're bringing back who you are. You lost yourself. That's what happened. You lost yourself in this relationship with this thief. That's why I said it's a thief of your time. This is not, it could be a literal thief. It's some, because there's many people watching. It could be someone who's stolen from you, right? Like money, but money you can always get back or make back. So hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, we're going to go outside real soon. I'm sorry, guys. I was so unprofessional, but you know. Little Miss over there was having a little problem. She was trying to find whatever. I don't know what's on on the nightstand. I don't know who left what. Anyway, back to the reading. Um, so, yeah. So, um, you're bringing back your Queen of Cups energy. You're coming back into who you are. And that's justice, right? Because you are enough. Okay? You are enough. All right. Let's take these last two. Okay? Page of Pentacles. Oh, Page of Wands. Okay. Page of Wands. All right. So again, you're not Page of Wands. You've lost a lot because of this stabbed in the back energy. You've lost a lot. And remember, you have unexpected income coming in. Okay. Um, I'm being driven to say that don't tell anyone about this money, please. Don't tell anyone about this money at all. Okay. Don't do it. All right. Keep it to yourself. It's from Divine. You didn't know it was coming. Okay. And the fool. So you are willing to take a risk, right? And the risk here is to be loved and to show love. But you have to start by getting your life in order and moving away from this person. Okay? This person is toxic for you. Okay? They're toxic. Let me get you a cosmic insight and let's see. Look at the first card that came up in cosmic insight. <laughs> I always say that's my animals. They, they get involved in my reading. All right, let me just get you one card on this. And I'll do a blessing as well. We'll get one cosmic insight. Oops, sorry. And a blessing. Um, This is going to be a 15-minute read. This is a very quick read, impromptu read. Um, I did not have this read scheduled. Um, the message just came to me. I have a read that's um, coming out soon. Okay, so this is an air sign, okay? So the person that you have trauma bonded with is an air sign, okay? So that's how you know who it is and you know the relationship of this person, okay? Um, this is not your energy. This is their energy, okay? So they are one of these three. They are an air sign, okay? Air signs can be very... I'm an air sign, okay? Air signs, we can be very, very... Um, what do you call it? Um, some can be manipulative. We're humans. We're all manipulative at one point. But um, air signs can be very convincing. That's it. Convincing. Okay. Um, don't make it. If you're leaving this person and you're being guided to end the cycle, you're being guided to end the cycle. Um, don't give the option of staying with this person. Right. No friendships. No. Just walk away. OK, because the more you hang on to this person and, I'm, and let me tell you, this person, I'm not getting that they are like physically abusive. No, it's nothing like that. 
They are just a trauma bonder. That's who they are. They trauma bond with everybody. Okay. Um, they are a thief of your time. If you stay with them, you aren't, well, you may not get the unexpected income because that is a gift because you're leaving them from divine. Um, and in some cases you might, okay. But, um, all, all outcomes are, they vary. However, I'm getting intuitively that if you stay with this person, I'm not getting something bad will happen to you. You just won't progress. You just won't progress. You know, the relationship will progress, but you as a human will not progress. You will turn into someone who is bitter, who is angry because that feeds your relationship. If you understand what I'm saying to you, that bitterness, that anger, that, that drama, that feeds your relationship. Okay. So you will produce that more and more and more and your energy will start to attract that more and more and more because your relationship is built on it. Okay. All right. That was a message. Okay. Here we go. And look at what it says. Divinity, I know my true identity. And I'll let you read that to yourself. Okay. And if you look on her back, that is the actual alignment of the chakra. So when I say it's your sacral chakra, your sacral chakras chakra is right here. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm saying to you. So that's where, that's how your chakra aligns. Okay. All right, everyone have a blessed day. Happy Sunday. Hopefully you have good weather where you are. It is absolutely gorgeous out here and I'm going to enjoy this walk. I'm about to take your little friend on. All right, everyone have a beautiful day. Bye. Don't forget you are in the right space. You know what to do. You are in charge. Bye-bye everyone.